Welcome to Knowledge Koala Channel. Have you ever wondered how a single artifact can reveal a thousand tales of our past? Well, buckle up and prepare to be amazed, because that's precisely what these historical treasures do. You see, artifacts are kind of like time machines, only without the flux capacitors and DeLorean cars. They transport us back to different eras and civilizations, revealing the secrets, the stories, and the scandalous gossip of yesteryears. Imagine your Sherlock Holmes, and each artifact is a clue, a puzzle piece that helps you piece together the grand mystery of human history. Exciting, isn't it? In this video, we're going to play detective and delve into the stories of three fascinating artifacts. So grab your magnifying glass, dust off your deerstalker hat, and let's get cracking. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to take a whirlwind tour through history, one artifact at a time. First stop, ancient Egypt, but don't worry there won't be any mummy curses. We hope, now let's talk about the Rosetta Stone, a slab of rock that's been causing linguists to do a happy dance since 1799. You see, when this trilingual slab of rock was discovered by French soldiers, it was like hitting the linguistic jackpot. The stone, inscribed with three scripts, ancient Greek, Demotic, and hieroglyphics, was the key to cracking the code of Egyptian hieroglyphics. We could call it the original Google Translate for ancient hieroglyphics. Without it, we would still be scratching our heads trying to figure out what those cute little pictures meant. But thanks to this unassuming rock, we can now translate, I want to write a hippopotamus, into hieroglyphics if we ever need to. So, the next time you use Google Translate, remember our friend, the Rosetta Stone, the original language hacker. Moving on from Egypt, we're teleporting to China. And no, we're not going for dim sum. Instead, we're diving deep into China's underground secret, the Terracotta Army. Picture this. You're a farmer in the late 70s, digging a well, and boom, you stumble upon a clay soldier. Not just one, but thousands of them, all lined up as if they're waiting for a bus that's 2,000 years late. Now these aren't your ordinary soldiers. They're part of the Terracotta Army, built by China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. He wanted an army in the afterlife, so he decided to create one. Talk about being well-prepared, huh? Each soldier is unique, just like you and me. Some have mustaches, others are clean-shaven. Some are tall, others short. It's like a big group of friends all waiting for that one friend who's always late. We all have that one, don't we? This massive army of clay was buried with the emperor in 210 before Common Era. That's over 2,000 years ago, and they've been waiting patiently ever since. Their discovery has given us a glimpse into China's past and the lengths one man went to ensure he had company in the afterlife. So, next time you're waiting for a friend, remember the terracotta soldiers, they've been waiting for over 2,000 years. Hang on tight, we're heading to the most remote inhabited island in the world, Easter Island. It's not just remote in distance, but also in time. Here, stone giants called Moai statues have been standing guard for hundreds of years, frozen in a game of statues that makes your childhood games seem like a brief intermission. Now, these aren't your average garden gnomes. Carved from solid volcanic rock, each Moai statue stands about 13 feet tall, weighing in at a hefty 14 tons. That's like stacking two full-grown elephants on top of each other. And yet, these stone behemoths were somehow transported across the island without the help of cranes, trucks, or even a single wheel. The island's original inhabitants, the Rapa Nui people, are believed to have created these statues. But the real mystery is how they maneuvered these colossal stone heads from the quarry to their final resting places. Some say they walked, others believe they were rolled on logs. But we prefer the theory that the statues lost a really intense game of rock-paper-scissors and had to stand still as punishment. Jokes aside, the Moai statues are an impressive testament to human ingenuity and the creative spirit of a civilization that thrived in isolation. So the next time you're playing the statues game, remember the Moai statues. They've been winning for centuries. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more content like this.